It is clear that many refugees have deep and long-standing aspirations to return home. As we affirm the UNHCR's most recent regional refugee intention survey. Some refugees and a much larger number of internally displaced persons have already chosen to exercise this right. And they and their communities merit our attention and support. Yet, the UNHCR survey also underscored that despite their desire to return on the day, for the vast majority, this is not an immediate prospect. Considerations over safety and security, livelihood opportunities, housing and property issues, and access to civil documentation remain paramount. Current military service requirements remain a key consideration for many. These are complex matters that will require commitment, political will, and resources to resolve. However, making progress in these areas will increase the likelihood that return becomes a more realistic, safe, and sustainable solution for a larger number of people. UNHCR commends the recent steps taken by the government of Syria to reduce the administrative and financial requirements related to return, including waivers of currency exchange requirements at the border and temporary measures to facilitate civil status registration and access to documentation. Recent measures uh, limiting the length of military service are also very relevant. I would urge that these efforts continue and focus on addressing the specific needs and concerns expressed by refugees, of which safety and security are high on the list. UNHCR appreciates the ongoing dialogue with the government and stands ready to provide technical advice and support as needed. Despite these challenges, we also know that the return of refugees, and to an even larger extent, internally displaced persons, continues to be a reality. Between January 2016 and October 2021, UNHCR has verified the return of over 298,000 Syrian refugees from neighboring countries and Egypt. These figures represent only those returns which UNHCR has been able to monitor and confirm. We know that the actual number is almost certainly higher and stand ready to engage in technical discussions with relevant government entities to deepen our understanding and analysis of these self-organized return movements. Better information sharing will allow for better preparedness and enable more timely and targeted support for future returnees.